And on the eighth day, God looked down on his planned paradise and said, I need a caretaker. So God made a farmer. I need somebody who can shape an axe handle from a persimmon sprout, shoe a horse with a hunk of car tire, who can make harness out of hay wire, feed sacks, and shoe scraps, who planting time and harvest season will finish his 40-hour week by Tuesday noon and then pain in from tractor back, put in another 72 hours. So God made a farmer. My name's Rick Shear. Uh, name of my farm operation is Circle S Farms. My dad and I have started that partnership uh, over 40 years ago. Uh, so we've been doing this for over 40 years and uh, it's been a great way of life, really. Uh, I've been wanting to be a farmer all my life. Since I was a little kid, I played with livestock and tractors and pretend like I was farming when I was really young. So I knew when I got older, that's what I wanted to do. I've been around it my entire life. My family's been here since 1883. I'm not sure which generation I am. I'm number six or seven. Um, it's just been a part of my life. It's been a part of my family's life. and um, We all really enjoy doing it. And I, it's just something I really love doing. I, I couldn't sit in an office eight hours a day and, and all of that. I, I really enjoy getting out and cutting wheat. The, I like the high pace kind of tempo of it. I've really been farming since I was a freshman in high school. The family's been farming in Kiowa County since 1909. And we're excited to carry on the tradition. I'm actually the fourth generation to be on the farm. Oh, I think I knew that early on. I couldn't get enough of a tractor or a combine. Just absolutely loved it. Knew early on that's what I was going to do. It was just a question of whether I could come up with enough opportunities to make it happen. harvest is, uh, you know, you, you planted this wheat, you waited for it to come up and see what it was going to do. You know, th things like that and family coming out, uh, harvesting, it's, it's a fun time. Wife's always prepared meals, you know, grandkids come out, ride the combine with us, give them the opportunity to, to see something different that they've never seen before. I find it to be a very rewarding experience to work with your family and I mean we all work so hard and we're so close-knit and you know during this part of the year sometimes we get tired of each other we want some time away but at the end of the day I think working with family is one of the most rewarding things about this job. Well, we always look forward to harvest. It's the payoff for all the late hours and all the hard work that you've put in throughout the year and harvest is always a great time. I think Kansas is a you know one of the best wheat states there is and I think it's because the farmers that we have are very proud of their crop.
somebody who'd plow deep and straight and not cut corners. Somebody to seed, weed, feed, breed, and rake, and disc, and plow, and plant, and tie the fleece, and strain the milk, and replenish the self-feeder, and finish a hard week's work with a five-mile drive to church. Somebody who'd bail a family together with the soft, strong bonds of sharing, who would laugh, and then sigh, and then reply with smiling eyes when his son says that he wants to spend his life doing what dad does. So God made a farmer. <laughs>